Hello everyone, now welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily. I am currently a first year, fourth grade teacher. So I know I look a little bit rough right now, but I really wanted to get this video filmed and up because I have been holding this information in for months. And I am finally telling you guys what my plans are for next year. Let me start off by saying I love and adore my school um, that I'm currently at. I love and adore my students so much. I could not have asked for a better group. Um, I'll kind of back up and kind of tell you the the whole story. This is going to be a short video, but I wanted to kind of like tell the story. So, um, probably I would say a little less than halfway through the school year. I That was like the first time I started to question um the the grade and like the subject i was teaching um if you guys did not know i taught fourth grade writing this year and then i also taught science and social studies to my homeroom so about halfway through the year i was like i don't know like but i kind of just like brushed it off i was like this is my first year you know things are crazy yada 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 um, but that feeling never went away. Of course, I love my students and I we had so much fun. We have so much fun. The year's not over yet. Um, we have so much fun and I love who I work with. I seriously could not have gotten through this school year without the people that I work with. Um, but that feeling of like, I, I am not doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing always kind of crept in. Um, but I knew that I love teaching. So I was like, I don't know. And then we started teaching social studies in January. And that's when it kind of clicked for me that like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I completely fell in love with teaching social studies. Um, it was like, I came alive during our social studies time and it was at the very end of the day. And all day I was just, it would drag on and then we'd get to the end of the day for social studies and I would just like be so excited and so happy. And so I was like, okay, don't know what to do with this information that I have now discovered about myself as a teacher. Um, <clears throat> and we are departmentalized. So I was like, well, maybe uh, we could work something out next year where I teach science and social studies and then I don't have to teach ELA. So talked about it with my team, my admin. Long story short, that was not going to work out. So I was like, okay. And I really like wrestled for a long time of like, what do I do? Because I know, I, I knew, I just had this gut feeling. I knew that I was not supposed to be teaching fourth grade writing, that that wasn't like where I was supposed to be. Um, so I've like had this passion for social studies. I just didn't know what to do with it. So then the idea of like, okay, well, what about like middle and high school? Um, I had never really, I have like thought about it in college and then I was like, no, I couldn't do that. Um, but the idea popped into my head. Um, this, like, maybe February, March? No, February. And um, I was like, am I crazy for thinking that I could do middle or high school? So I sat on it for a while. Um, I have a few friends who teach middle school. My husband teaches middle school. And so I was having conversations with them, um, talking about, you know, what is middle school like? Like really trying to think like, is that, can I see myself doing that? Um, and it's also hard, it was also hard because I was like, am I just being crazy and irrational? Because this is my first year teaching elementary school, first year teaching in general. So like, am I being crazy for just trying to switch things up after my very first year? Like. I need to just like stick it out another year. So I really like wrestled and like went back and forth for a long time. Um, and then I decided to just take the test, the social studies test for middle and high school um, at the time. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sign up for this test. Um, I'm gonna study a little bit for it as much as I can and have time to. I'm just gonna take it and see what happens. So um, I sign up for 
um, the history gaze is what we call it. I think my husband's home. So I might have to switch locations. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Just a couple minutes later, my hair is now dry and I'm wearing a different shirt. But as I was saying, I decided I'm just going to take the test. We're going to see how it goes and just go from there. So I signed up for the history case, as we call it, um, which is would certify me sixth grade through 12th grade. So after some contemplation, I was like, oh, I just don't, I, I don't think high school is it. So I canceled the test and I'm like, do I even want to take the test? And I'm like, yes, you just need to take it and see what happens. So I re-sign up for the middle grades social studies test. And um, yeah, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna study a little bit and see how it goes. So take the test and I pass with flying colors actually, which was very exciting. And so that's when I was kind of like, okay, it's time, I'm gonna do it. That was kind of like my sign of like, let's do this. So I currently teach in a different county than I live in um, and then I went to school in. I live in the county that I went to school in, I teach in a different county. So I, kind of was tossing around the idea of moving counties and I decided ultimately like I'd really love to be back in the county that I went to school in. So I looked for jobs. I really thought like because I have no middle school experience, my degree is not in middle school. I've never like had any experience teaching middle school that it was going to be really hard for me to find a job especially for social studies because I don't know I feel like social studies or jobs are just hard to find but I found two and um, did two interviews. They both went really well. I really loved both of the schools and both of them offered me virtually the same position, um, social studies at the middle school. So I really was like, oh my gosh, like I had two offers that were basically the same. So it pretty much came down to like my gut feeling of which school I also know someone who teaches at the school and I accepted a middle grades social studies position for this upcoming school year. So that is what my plan is for next year. As of right now, I will be split between seventh and eighth grade. So I'll be teaching um, social studies to seventh grade and then Georgia studies to eighth grade. I am so excited. I have my little social studies shirt on because I just took my like Instagram reveal photo if you will so i am so excited i could not be happier it's it's like a bittersweet feeling especially thinking about like not being at my school next year to like see my kids um you know be cute little fifth graders hang on yeah so uh it's a bittersweet feeling um i've waited so long because i did not want to put anything on the internet before I told my students because I know some of them follow me, some of their parents follow me, so I wanted them to hear it from me directly, but I didn't want to freak them out or like make them sad before our like big testing, like our state testing. So we just finished that and so I was like, it's time. So I also told my students today. Um, I was trying to think of like the best way to tell them because I teach all three classes so I see all fourth graders um, and like our classes are split by things and I didn't want them like telling their other friends before I had a chance to tell them so today at recess I told them I basically like made my rounds to like all the different little groups that way I could it could be a little bit more personal um, so I would like tell a group you know whatever and then go to the next one and tell them and, and that way too like they could be sad for a second and then like their friends are there they're at recess and so they kind of got distracted um which was good a good choice I think um but yeah a lot of tears were shed by my students um so that was sad to see um I know I'll probably be like crying like a little baby on the last day of school but it went, it went okay. So I told them today, um, my whole school has, has known for a while. Um, I'm trying to think of any more information to tell you. I'm mostly just so excited. I'm nervous for middle school because 
I look like a middle schooler. Um, oh, another thing, I'm gonna be helping coach cheerleading. I'm not gonna be like a coach. I'm just gonna like, you know, if they need me at a competition, I'll be there. I've been there this whole week for like tryouts. Um, so that's something else that like I have always dreamed of that I'm getting to do and I'm so excited. But as I was saying before, sorry, medicine's wearing off. Um, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, so I'm there this week, like at the school. And so I got to like tour the school and see it and everything and see, you know, obviously not the kids I'm teaching, but just like the kids that go there. And they're all so large. <laughs> like so large and it's a little bit scary because they're really dull and scary but it's gonna be fine and i'm excited about it um so if you teach social studies at the middle school level i would love to hear from you like seriously i would love to hear from you any tips you have as far as like classroom management for middle schoolers um teaching social studies teaching middle school in general because i feel like there aren't a lot of middle grades like teacher tubers or whatever so if you have suggestions of people i can watch also please let me know i would love 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 that and appreciate it so much so my channel will be getting a revamp we will have to rename elementary with emily i'm still working on that i don't exactly know what to rename this channel i also got a tattoo who am i um, so if you have any suggestions for what I should rename us instead of elementary with Emily, I don't want to do like middle with Emily. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm toying around with ideas. So if you have any, let me know. But anyway, I think that's it for this video. If you have questions, let me know. I'm probably going to do some sort of like Q and A in the summer or something like that about like next year. But yes. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I just know that I'm gonna get so much support because you guys are amazing. So thank you in advance for that. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for all things middle school and classroom setup. I'm so excited for classroom setup. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video.